front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in Mentor or Mentor, however you pronounce it, Ohio, and I'm at Subway. The Subway took over an old Taco Bell, and I mean old Taco Bell, and I mean this place looks really cool. And I'm out here today to check it out as I came up to the Cleveland area to film a few things, and coming out to Mentor was on my to-do list, so uh, many thanks to uh, Slacking Packing for letting me know. Definitely go check out his channel. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have known about the McDonald's and this, so um, yeah, definitely check him out. But anyway, I'm out here to do that and take a look at, around at this place and show it to you guys. So let's hop out of the car and check out this subway. It, it appears to have closed within the last year to two years. Google Maps says it's temporarily closed, but that's a lie. So, because there's a lot of overgrowth and stuff just being thrown in the park and a lot like trash. So, anyway, with that said, let's jump out of the car and check it out. There it is. I mean, you could tell it was an old Taco Bell. Now, they heavily renovated it to make it different. But the way the roof comes down, I'm sure they redid all the windows too and they redid the front of this. fans are still on inside. Wonder when this became Subway. Said they heavily, look, we do not accept bills over 50 bucks. Thank you. Yep, there's their signage they just put down on the floor there. What can we see through this window here into the dining room? Yeah, there's where the kitchen would have been. Oh, yeah, they removed everything where you would place your order and watch them go to work making your sandwiches. Yeah, there's the drive through window. Sorry, no coupons. Tripping over stuff. Help wanted. I don't know about that anymore, bud. There's a light on in there, too soda fountain. Still got stuff up on the menu board. Cups are still there. I don't know that this is just temporarily closed. I don't buy that for a second. And then, yeah, here's where I said they were just throwing stuff in here now. And as a matter of fact, over here is the sign. Lobby closed, drive through only, 11 to 8. I don't know about that. What does the other side say? Nothing. Yep, definitely closed. We'll take a walk around the back and come out the other side. No left turn. Okay. Yeah, the weeds are growing through the cracks in the pavement, which tells me they haven't been here to do any landscaping. Yeah, look at all growing through the cracks in the pavement throughout the whole parking lot. Don't see too many subways with a drive through It's very rare. We have one in the Pittsburgh area on the north side that has a drive through Yep, there's your menu board. I hear a train coming. But right near the CSX line. Sounds like it's really close. Like right over the hill, down that way. Look at that, that sign's old too. No deliveries between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., the lunch rush. Another menu board there. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't clearly obvious, 
what this was in a previous life based on that building design. Do you know why this closed? It even says for lease, so it's definitely not temporarily closed. But do you know why it closed? Let's take a look through the window. Well, we can peek through that one, but we'll go look through the door here. That's, that's, that's weird that the fans are on. What are they cooling down? All new hickory smoked bacon. That sounds fire. Waste of electricity. Take a peek through this window here into the dining room. Stepping through all the weeds. Hey, look, a quarter. That's twice now, in recent memory. <laughs> Save that for meters, parking meters. Yeah, a lot of heavy renovation that was done here, as you can see. Made it look nice, I'll say that, it does look nice. Hopefully something moves in here, makes it look even nicer yet. Makes it their own. We're right by the Great Lakes Mall. I don't know, my buddy Anthony told me there was a Burger King nearby, too, that may very well be closed with a sign laying on the ground. I'm going to go check. I don't know how true it is, but I'm going to check. And obviously, if it is abandoned, you'll see a future video. Oh, well, I guess that'll be a rip. Yeah, they really need to do some uh, pruning here. That should be easily accessible to walk through there, and you can't very well. But, alrighty. I think I'll wrap it up now. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. That was a fun little video to do. Old school, too. Even though it's not Taco Bell anymore, you can't deny what that building originally was. I would be shocked if I was wrong, and it was never Taco Bell in the first place. But... To my understanding, that's what it is. On that note, though, I'm going to sign off now. Appreciate y'all watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. I'd love to uh, have you here as a subscriber, too, if you're not one already. And, well, let's go see what else we find out here in Mentor. Or Mentor. I try. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.